Okay, so let me begin. I think we can now begin. Um, I'm going to read uh, Diana's and Sergio's uh, bios. Thank you. Okay, let's start with teacher Diana Fernandez. More than 20 years of teaching experience in educational and technological research. Since 2009, she's been working at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, conducting research, lectures, courses, and training for teachers and students. She has a master's degree in education and a master's degree in educational management. She also has a bachelor's degree in education, a bachelor's degree in computer systems engineering, and a bachelor's degree in industrial design. Throughout the pandemic, she has carried out projects in different public and private schools from preschool to university, implementing techniques and teaching strategies using different methodologies and technological tools for education. Okay, and now I'm going to be reading uh, Sergio, teacher Sergio Sanchez's um, bio. Um, Sergio is a full-time English teacher at Escuela Nacional Preparatoria 3 of the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México in Mexico. With over 20 years of teaching experience, he specializes in cognitive linguistics and information and communication technologies. He holds a BA degree in applied linguistics and a master's in Hispanic linguistics. Apart from English and Spanish, he speaks French and Italian as well. He has taken both on-site as well as online courses with the University of Arkansas and University of Oregon, Maryland, at Multibor and Arizona State University on a wide range of subjects having to do with pedagogy, didactics, critical thinking, educational assessment, gamification, and teacher training for the teaching of English as a foreign language. He's very happy to meet teachers all around the world, share experiences, and to bring about innovative, effective, and engaging approaches to the field of English language teaching and learning. He's a passionate self-taught learner of cognitive neuroscience, which gave rise to this project, English Cortex, that is now being presented. Okay. So we have that part of the information that we we couldn't do yesterday. I'm I'm glad that we could do it today. Okay, so I think which I will, without further ado, I give you the microphones so that we can continue with the second part of this workshop session. Um, thank you so much. All right, so um, I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen so that we can catch up with what we left yesterday. So just a second, please. So yesterday, by the end of our presentation, we asked everyone to please prepare the following materials. Um, first of all, everyone should have, hopefully by now, a Gmail account if you didn't have one, or if you already had one, I hope you um, have already logged into your Gmail account right now. You should have a couple of pictures of vocabulary that doesn't really matter what uh, the field or um semantic field you have chosen is what's important is that you have something to share on a website that you have chosen um for whatever reasons you may have and two youtube videos a website that you love to visit and if possible also an app or software that you would like to see included somewhere in on your personal online learning website so with that in mind um i'm going to ask um, my partner, teacher Diana, to please conduct the um, following instructions. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to let teacher Diana carry through. Teacher Diana. Thank you and hello, everybody. <laughs> well, the first uh, we have to, we need to, to open the account, uh, a Gmail account, okay? Hi, Karima. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, to share my screen. Wait a minute. Thank you. 
Ok. Ok, now if you see my screen, I have an account here, ok, and, and it is possible to see my, my account uh, Gmail. I have a, a nine points in that part. And here is all, uh, I, when I can see the, the tools of Gmail, of G Suite, sorry, of G Suite, okay? For example, I can use my, my email. I can use in the nine point, for example, the classroom, the YouTube, uh, my drive. Uh, Google Meet, okay? And we have to, to need to, to open the Google Drive, yeah? For the first step. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to wait I'm going to wait to 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 open that, okay? Can you uh, let me let me Can you remember? Oh, I'm sorry. I I lost my my share my 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 screen sorry <laughs> Okay everybody has opened the the Google Drive in your computer Let me know in the chat please If you have uh, some uh, uh, some question or something like that, or did you have problems, please tell us. Uh, by the way, teacher Karima sent uh, some of the materials that we were asking for um, about six minutes ago. She sent some pictures of vocabulary from Cambridge English, which I already opened. Um, so I was taking a look at those and she also sent two YouTube videos. I think we could um, work out with those ones at some point. Just to let you know, teacher Diana. Thank you. Miss Diana, uh, yeah, uh, if you have to open Google Drive, it's everything is okay for this moment, okay? <laughs> also, you have to, you, you, if you prefer to type in the, in the browser address bar, you have to type a uh, Google uh, Drive, it's correct too, okay? Everything, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Next, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to share my, my screen.
sorry, Sergio, maybe you could explain. Uh, Christine is asking, what are we doing now? Maybe just very quickly um, repeat a little bit of what we're doing, which I think is really interesting and very practical. Um, yeah, right? uh, basically what we want to achieve is to create a, um, um, a website for online learning but before we do that, uh, teacher Diana wants to make sure that everybody, everybody has access to the main suite of Google, which uh, includes several different resources for the creation of websites. Um, she's going to show us right now what um, we can get access to by going to Google Drive. And after that, uh, we're going to show how to start creating a website with sites.google.com, which I'm going to paste uh, in the chat right now. So in a couple of minutes, we will get there um, to sites.google.com. But before, let's see what teacher Diana wants to explain uh, related to Google Drive. OK, the next step is, is create a new folder here, OK? This is important because the the organization in the in the site it could be better okay how can do that i need to to click here in in new in the in the plus button and we have a uh, uh, the, the first uh, it, it could be folder or carpeta folder and you have to 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 write or type uh, the 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 name wherever you want. For example, uh, my first website, no? For example, and I'm going to click to to create. Okay. Okay, I just stop here. Everybody has the new folder in your Google Drive. Ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. <laughs> okay, very good, Gabriela. Karima. Do you have some problems or Dinah? No, everything is okay. Okay, don't worry. We have time. Dina, questions? I think it's a problem with my drive because it says la ruta de acceso no, no existe. So I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to write down all the steps and then see what's going on. Okay, try to, to, to open your Gmail. Okay. And then when you're uh, when you see your Gmail open, you can uh, look for the nine points. 
in the corner in the screen. And you have to look for the Google Drive. Um, let me help you out a little bit over there. Um, so there are two ways that we can proceed to achieve what we want to do right now. So one of them is to just go to drive.google.com, which is what I have just sent to the chat there, drive.google.com. Uh, you can open the link that I just sent to the chat. I'm going to share my screen for a moment to show you what is opened once you click on that link. So you should get something similar to what I'm showing you all right now. You have different options over here. Uh, but because we want to have some order into the different folders that we will be creating in order to build our new website, we want to create a new folder, uh, which we can do by clicking on the button that says new over here on the left side of the screen. I click there. I am given several options. I'm going to click on the first one that says folder, and I'm going to be asked or required to give it a name. So I'm just going to name it new website. What you actually call it doesn't really matter. That's up to you. You can give it different names, but I'm just going to give it some random um, names such as new website. And then I create that. You could also maybe create uh, name it uh, English online or English for my students or Tizzol. That's up to you. And you open that new folder that you're looking at in the middle. And this is where you're going to be dropping the different files that you will need in order to build your website. Uh, the second way to um, achieve what we want to, to do today is to simply go to sites.google.com, which is what I am showing you right now. I'm going to copy paste that um, link again in the chat. So I think this second way of proceeding is somewhat easier uh, since you don't really have to worry about the different contents that go to different folders. Uh, once you reach this website, sites.google.com, the first thing you can notice in, in on my screen is that I already have several different projects. Uh, because I already have several different projects, I have this button on the right side in the corner below that's, that it's a sort of plus sign. And I, have, I am given two options, either to create a new site or to choose a template. So I'm going to go for create a new site, and then I just wait a bit. And I'm going to be shown the very first page of my new website. And this is where we're going to paste the YouTube videos, the pictures, the interactive games, interactive videos, assessments with instant feedback, and so on and so forth. Um, let me show you what some of you might be seeing, because this might change from one computer to another. Uh, let me go to a personal account. Now, I'm showing you an alternative way of what sites.google.com might look like. So you could be given these different options above. Maybe you find this blank uh, option or different templates, such as a class template, a student portfolio template, a portfolio template, and so on and so forth. Uh, maybe I want to use a template this time, so I'm going to click on class. So I will already be given several different options of what I would like to add to my new website. So that's up to you whether you prefer to start from scratch and not include anything at all at the beginning, or whether you would like to have something there to start working with, such as the one I'm showing you right now. So I could even click here already, and I can already start uploading photographs, and I can just change the text here, the, the title of this section, change this picture below or just leave it there if I like it, change the, the title of this particular photograph, say something about myself, um, give access to different resources for my students. Maybe I want to give them some links to other websites. I can add below here my name, email, and phone number. And there are so many different things we can do. So, But that's a personal decision, whether you would like to start with a blank um, site or whether you want to use a template that already has a number of different sections loaded onto it. So that's basically uh, the first thing we would like to uh, start everybody doing right now. Once you already have one of these, um, either a blank website in, in, at sites.google.com or a template from sites.google.com, then we will be able to start showing you how to add 
uh, pictures, interactive games, interactive videos, or YouTube videos, and so on and so forth. So, um, has anybody already done that? Has anybody been already able to? I did yeah. it already. Great, yeah. great, great. Just let me be curious. Uh, did you choose a blank uh, site or a template from the different options that are given? It's a different template. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not so sure if, if Hopin allows us uh, allow you to share your screen. Uh, are you given that option? Because just like you, I am new to Hopin. This is the first time I use Hopin. I usually use Zoom or Google Meet. Um, so I'm not so sure if attendees can use. Uh, I really don't know that, Gabriela. But do you see underneath your picture? Do you see like one, two, three, four, five icons, or not? Oh, uh, att attendees, right? Participants. There. You can see mine. Yeah, I, I am seeing right now. Ah, there it is. Maybe right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's nice. Yeah. So, so you you got it right. <laughs> that, that this is what we would like <laughs> everyone to achieve. We would like everybody to uh, get a, a a new website, just as Gabriela is doing right now, and that that's where we want to get first. Once um, everybody or most everyone already has one of these new uh, either templates or blank sites we shall proceed to show you uh, the rest of the um, uh, different options that you can follow through in order to build your website. So I'll uh, leave it there for teacher Diana to continue explaining. So I'm going to turn off my microphone. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again, okay? Okay, we have uh, uh, three sections here in this part, in the in the right uh, hand. We have a uh, insert, we have page, and we have themes. And themes, if you see, uh, we can change the, the the theme and the colors. Okay and the, the the letters okay in this part in page uh, we have to uh, if i if i need a, a, another page here i can i can do it here for example i if i need another I can change the name, for example, and I say vocabulary new, no, for example. And I have another, and I can see that I I use another page because in this part I can see uh, two names, uh, that one and that one. Okay. And insert in insert I can uh, I can insert all a you a you want for example in this part uh, we have the site yeah um I'm, I think you're not sharing what you want to share maybe if you stop sharing for a second because all all I'm looking at right now is is your Google Drive oh okay you are already at sites.google.com i guess but, but for some reason um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your, what you're explaining doesn't match what you what we're looking at sorry for the interruption no no, no it's okay yeah yeah I, yeah that, i think that's where that's what you wanted to show us <laughs> yeah okay in the up. in the website yeah <laughs> in the google sites yes <laughs> okay 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 in this part in the in the left, I have themes, page, and insert, okay? 
in themes, I can see the the themes that I that that Google Sites gives us. Okay. Did you see uh, the change no? Yes, in insert, Okay, in insert I can I can draw a, a, a text, for example, here. And I can text that. I can I can up my my pictures, for example. Okay. I have designs. If I insert that, it's only a template. It's only a template. Mm -hmm. And here we can add my picture, for example, okay, that that I that I search. and insert okay just one little interruption mm -hmm. um could you like karima is seems to not have gotten the first part the very first part i think it's the part where we get into the the google the the, the link that sergio sent us a few minutes back I don't know if Karim uh, was able to get in. Sites, Google's, no? Were you able to get in this, Karima? Yeah, that's what uh, teacher Diana is teaching right now, is showing us. Uh, maybe if, if teacher Karima could share her screen with us all, uh, we could see what exactly, um, how we can help her furthermore. Yes, I think it's better. Yeah. My guess is that she is at the part of sites.google.com where she has to choose either a blank um, site builder or a template. Um, so yeah, I think that's the problem that she's having. So, okay, let me show everyone that part again. So I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. You're looking at my screen now, right? So um, this is this is where teacher Curry, Curry is probably right now. And I was saying that there are two different ways that you can visualize this uh, just the way I'm, I'm showing you right now or uh, an, an alternative way of looking at sites.google.com is the one that I'm showing now where you have above different options. So if teacher Curry is either here or here uh, is going to change how to proceed. So let's say that she probably has something like this, then just click on the plus button that is on the right uh, corner below, where you have two different options, either to create a new website or choose a template. If I choose a the, the, the option that is above, choose a template, um, I should go to general here if I am given two options, because in this case, I am using an institutional account that my school gave me, but my school doesn't have any templates for me. So I have to go to general and I am given here different options. Let's say that this time I want to create a club website. So I click here on club and I wait for the new website uh, that I am about to build and it should load at any moment. So there it is. And teacher Diana is explaining right now how to insert either texts or images or embed uh, other types of resources or uh, to get different materials from Google Drive or how to insert pages to change the theme. Uh, but second option, in case um, you have something in your on your computer like this, is to just click on any one of these different options over here. So. That's probably the problem that um, 
teacher Karima is having. I'm not so sure if, if that was the problem or if it's something different, teacher Karima. Um, okay, well, if, if you need more help, just let us know and we'll do our best to help you, teacher. Um, so I'll, I'll let teacher Diana continue. Okay, okay. Okay, I continue my uh, share my my screen, okay? Okay, now we continue to to insert uh, the designs here. Um, if you if, if you search, for example, three pictures, uh, you can uh, drag here or put here, and you try to to insert the the match, uh -huh, the picture that you search. How I'm going to I'm going to click in the plus button here, and we have the first uh, options, and I need to 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 search my my picture, select one, and I need to give open, and that's all. Okay. We're going to, to do it that. You have some problems? Tell me, please. If you want to show your your screen, tell us, please. Okay. Can I continue? Okay. Can you see my Google Sites? Yes. Uh, okay. Then here we can type the title, for, for example, uh, here. My vocabulary. If I if I say here, I have to to change the the type of letter. And you choose the the letter that you want. If you want to, to be bigger or bigger <laughs> or small, okay, we have to, we, we can change and have these options, okay? We have the options of the default with the title, normal, a uh hat. -huh title 
Okay. Okay, try to, to type. Um, but okay, type ya yeah, the, the, the um, type the titles here to continue, okay? Somebody has a question. Everything is okay. Imagine that I have this page for my students and I want to share uh, this page in, in, my, in my website, okay? Only I need to copy the address in, this, in the page that I have to share and go to the, the website and one of the uh, one when uh, uh, a form that, that you can see that is to uh, to take the this icon and paste the the paste the, the page that I have to to share here, okay? And in this way, we have the, the, the page directly in the theme. Okay, did you see how? Um, teacher Dina, do you think we could see what you've got thus far? Just to be clear. Yes. Okay, again. Um, I was asking teacher Dina if she could share with us what she's got thus far. So, oh. so let's see what, what teacher Dina has. And I don't have a lot, but... That's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I, I just love to see... I'm um, just making some... Um, what I wanted to know is... Uh, how do I get back in whenever I want to get back in? 
Oh, how you get back to your um, current uh, project? Yeah, once I, I leave this, I had a YouTube, but it, it's not in anymore. I don't know what happened. Wait. Oh, uh, you have I'm already um, inserted a video, but it's not there anymore, teacher? Yeah. See, no, right? See. Yeah, yeah. Click, see. click on the video. Ah, I have to click on the video, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Ah, there it is. Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh huh. And now here, well, I would have to find what I want to write. Yes. Yes. Correct. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. I want to find something about causative verbs. And so my question is, once I, I leave this Google site, mm -hmm. how do yep. I get back in? Yeah. Uh, could you please open another tab on Google Chrome, a different tab or another window? I, yeah. yeah. And just type again, sites.google.com. I can type that in the chat again. Just a second. Wait. Sites.google.com. That, um, you just go back to sites.google.com and um, yeah, now type sites.google.com or just open the link that I sent to the chat and that should automatically open uh, the okay. list. Of yeah, uh, yeah, click on the first option. Google Initio? Yeah, there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and yeah, it's there, teacher. So every time you want to go back to your uh, current project, just click there and you're going to get back everything you have already worked with. Automatically. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Right. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think that was so useful. I didn't know those. It was so really, really for me, everything gets complicated but in this case it's been pretty easy <laughs> yeah yeah and somebody's telling me in the chat that the video that i shared is not available i'm so sorry i think i shared uh the wrong link let me uh change that just give me a couple of minutes less than less than a minute just a, just a second yeah here i got it yeah i'm sorry about that it's just that i had a first version that i uh, for some reason erased and I gave you the wrong link, but it's already there in the chat. So that one should work and you should have a summary of how to do um, everything that we would like you to achieve, which is basically integrating images, videos, uh, interactive games, interactive oh, videos, yes. assessments. Yeah. This is, the one, this is the one that you showed us yesterday, right? Exactly, yeah. It, it's, it's super fast. Okay. I mean, it's, in less than three minutes, I show you all how to do everything. Uh, but I think it's a good idea to have a sort of uh, summary of everything in just three minutes. So just in case in the future, you would like to see all of the steps uh, at once. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll let Georgiana continue. So I'm going to turn off my microphone. Okay. Now we can continue with share uh, a page. Do you... Um... Can you do it uh, there? Can you share the the a page? No. Uh, you, you want you want them to integrate a, a a page inside their page, or publish their page, teacher Diana? No, only insert the link. Ah, all right. Yeah, that's quite easy to do. Um, could you please give us an example, Teacher Diana, of how to insert a website onto your new website, please? Okay. An example is, is that page, for example, okay? I need the link of my of my page okay and i'm going to copy that link okay and then i go to my my google site
and select all the word and I'm going to give in that icon okay and only I have to paste the link and apply okay that's all you see now okay try to do it The same way I, I'm going to, to share a page, uh, a, a, a YouTube video, uh, audio, and uh, everything you want, okay? Or an application. It's the same way, okay? Yeah, uh, let me reinforce a little bit uh, what teacher Jenny is saying uh, right now. So I'm going to share my screen. So uh, what teacher Jenny is explaining right now is that you can choose, uh, for instance, you're looking at that web address right now, right? Uh, are you looking at, at my Word document with a link right now? Yes? It says EnglishCortex.com, www. Yeah. English yeah, projects. thank you. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so let's say that for some reason I want to share this particular link or this website with my students or friends or colleagues um, inside my own website. So it's very simple. I just have to copy this. I'm going to actually cut it. And then I go to my uh, website here. You are looking at my new website, right, right teachers? Yes. Yes, great. So once I am there, all I got to do is just copy paste, which is, you know, control V. Uh, and, and you can see that I am given a sort of preview and then I insert and and I already have a link there. So next time um, I continue working on my website, once I publish my website and my friends start navigating in my website, they will be able able to click here and reach my website so that we can hear we can have a collection here of different websites that we would like to share with our students. Maybe I have like eight or 10 different websites that I love to, to use to teach English or to learn English. And I can just uh, paste eight or 10 different links here and my students will have all of the different links together in one single place. So that's basically what we want to achieve with this feature, which is sharing links within our website. Um, so I hope that helps and I'll give it back to teacher Jenna. Uh, Just one question while we wait for teacher Diana. Um, if I want to get into English Cortex, uh, can I get in? Uh, what do you mean by get, get in, teacher? Because I think you're saying that English Cortex has several, you've already worked on several projects, as you say. And how yeah. can I see them? Or do I need a special permission? Yeah, uh, no, you don't need any permissions. That's one feature that I love about Google Sites, that everything is open. You don't really need to create any username or password or anything like that. It's instantly available for everybody, for our students, for fellow teachers, or anybody wanting to get access to it. Let me share my screen one more time. Um, you're looking at, at, at the main um, page of the English Cortex project, right? Yes, you sent us that yesterday too. Yeah, yeah. All you got to do is go to EnglishCartridge.com and once you are there, you can already start using what I've already set in place. For instance, here you can click there 
and you are offered four different modules, uh, okay. one for bipolar, animal, and then you just continue clicking. That's it. There, there's really nothing much to do, uh, but just enjoy the contents that have already been uh, spread around, set uh, one after the other. You just gotta choose what you want to do. If you want to pronounce, to practice your pronunciation, if you want to interact with videos, if you want to play some games, if you want to assess how much you've learned through one of the assessment tests that has instant feedback, or if you just want to take a look, a global look at all the vocabulary that that uh, I want to learn or I want you to learn here. Um, so that's that's basically. It. Um, there's not much more you gotta do here, which is what I like about Google Sites much more than I do from um, I don't know Moodle or Edmodo or other different or Canva. You know there are so many uh, platforms there that we are using in order to uh, assemble different contents for our students, but they are not usually very intuitive. They're somewhat hard to navigate through and you gotta create a user account and a password and that sort of thing. Um, also, this is this is compatible with cell phones. So um, students will not really have any trouble navigating this. Now, I, I would like to mention just to finish um, this uh, issue, this particular issue, that uh, if you want to visit my personal website, which is sergiosanchezpadilla.com, I will paste it in the chat. Just give me one second, just in case anybody wants to see what else you can do with um, a, one of these um, site builders. Um, this one is from Google. Um, this is my personal website, and I've built my personal web website entirely, totally with Google Sites. Everything you're looking at right now was made using Google Sites. So you could create also your own personal website uh, with your name here. Of course, you choose what background you would like to have over here um, above. And if you want to say a few words to anybody visiting your website, if you go to uh, the section of academic production, which is the second tab that I have over here above, uh, you can find my academic production. I have pasted here a link to a talk that I gave some time ago. Uh, at, uh, for a university of England, um, some events that I've been coordinating with researchers from different universities around the world. Uh, this is a platform that, that I um, actually website. I'm going to open this one as a second example of what you can achieve if, if you use Google Sites. If you use this, uh, if you click on this option, Cognitive Drama Seminar, this is a seminar that I conducted some time ago. And everything that I taught is here. So, for instance, if you click on conceptual prototypes, if you want to know what a conceptual prototype is, uh, you just click there, and you've got the the recording of the of the meeting at which I explain everything that you gotta know if you want to know what conceptual prototypes are. I give a sort of general introduction to what you should keep in mind when you're only starting to know this topic. Then I give some instructions to my fellow uh, English teachers who want to know more about this subject. You can also uh, include PDFs if you would like your uh, friends or students or colleagues to get access to certain PDFs or chapters or P of PDFs. You can just put an image there and then link that image to the PDF so that, for instance, here, if I click here, uh, you're going to see that another tab has been opened and I have to wait a little bit, but there it is. Uh, I can um, open this PDF, which I want my fellow English teachers to read. And if you want to download that to your computer, you just click on the download button and you should be able to download that PDF um, right away. So that's one activity that, that I worked out with my, um, my uh, fellow, fellow English teachers. And then I give them some, some links over here and some further materials. I give them this, um, small video where I want to discuss what is the prototypical, um, what is the prototypicalization of CAD and PIMA? What's the difference between one and the other and whether there are intermediate um, levels of conceptualization? So uh, this is just an example. Let me give you one final example of what we you could achieve. Uh, I gave uh, another, I, I gave a workshop online here. If you would like to visit this one, just click there or open that on another tab and you should find another example of what you can achieve um, here and everything is set there. So for instance, let's say that I click here on 1.2 and once I again, I have the instructions, I have some Google Slides for, for, for my 
for the other teachers, a video, um, some images, uh, suggestions. And I think I should also mention that teacher Diana has a similar uh, website. Um, just let me find it somewhere over here. I should have it. Uh, but I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. Um, um, I don't have the link right now. But I hope that you, I have given you a sense of what you can achieve. There are so many things you can do if you learn how to integrate contents into a Google website. You can give a full course. I have given seminars. I have given workshops. I, I am preparing this EnglishCartridge.com project for my students. Uh, you can do anything you want. Uh, one of the greatest advantages of working with Google Sites is that you can accommodate a, a, a large number of different uh, resources of all kinds for uh, whatever purposes you have in mind. So um, I think we're about to finish. We only have about two minutes left. Um, so I think I, I'd like Teacher Diana to say the, the final words. And any, if anybody has any final questions, we will be very happy to answer um, anything you want to ask us. Um, Teacher Diana, anything else you would like to add before um, we leave? Um, I don't hear you. Um... If we don't hear uh, teacher Diana, uh, maybe she could refresh. Refreshing is yeah, sometimes maybe. necessary, yes. Yeah, yeah, maybe she needs to I don't realize. know if she can hear us. Can you hear yeah. us, teacher Diana? I don't think so. She has to just to refresh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have to refresh whatever happens. The best way is to refresh. Well, this yeah. has been really helpful. I never imagined, as I said yesterday, I never imagined I could do something like this. So I thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, and you 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 taught it step by step, which is all, all not always so easy to find. No, step yeah. by step. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it was really yes. uh, helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's a lot to do there, no? There is. Yeah, yeah. There is teacher Diana. I think. Now, can you hear us, teacher Diana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no wonder. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, teacher Sergio was saying maybe you have some last few words that you would like to to give us before we finish? Yeah, I um, try to do it and <laughs> don't be afraid. And if you need something, uh, I, I could, may, maybe uh, if you want my, my email address, you can write me and chat with me any problems do you have, okay? And that's all. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Thank and, you and, so much. And thanks. I would like to say thank you to everyone who was here. And I hope to uh, meet again with everyone sometime in the future. So that's all for now. So goodbye, everybody. <laughs>